Let's listen to a curb log. Let's listen to a curb log. Let's listen to a curb log, and it will be a treat. I hope so. Uh, speaking of treats, I got a ridiculous amount of candy from my fucking birthday party that I had recently. It's, it's, uh, it's January 4th, uh, late at night. Uh, I'm sure all of you who are probably listening to this now are most likely in the middle of also watching the uh, Awesome Games Done Quick Marathon. But, uh, you know, we're well into 2016. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, double dose of data for action on the uh, the last couple in a row. Uh, they were a lot of fun. He sends his, his thanks and his love to all of you for listening and hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I don't think he's able to see the actual comments because he watches these on uh, on his TV and not actually, like, on the computer. So I don't think you can actually read them that way. But either way, uh, we're back into the normal swing of things with regular curb blocks again. Hi. Uh, no themed months this time. Just, you know, trying to uh, keep up the the usual whatever topics, and uh, this time I went, wanted to tackle one that was uh, submitted a long time ago by this point. I don't even know how long ago, but uh, this one comes from Morgan Wiley. A possible Kerblad topic. Well, now it is a probable and real Kerblad topic. Have you ever started watching a movie expecting it to be really good or really bad just based on trailers, commercials, or other promotional material just to find out that it was completely the opposite of what you expected? What movie was the biggest pleasant surprise for you in this regard, and what movie was the biggest disappointment? Um, so the funny thing about this is I have always loved trailers. Uh, I have such absolute fond memories of, and not even just for movies, but just for any kind of creative media. I have fond memories of, uh, you know, as a kid seeing, uh, you know, movie trailers, both in the theater and on and commercials on TV, et cetera, and really, really getting excited for something and it completely living up to my expectation. I think that part of it is, is definitely like when you get older, you're certainly, a little more jaded to stuff in general. So, I mean, I mean, there's certainly that, but, um, but I would also kind of think maybe not because of a point I'll get to probably at the end of this topic. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of a blessing and a curse because they really can build up such incredible hype for something that like, you know, you might have already been interested in if, if you've heard of it or if you hadn't heard of it at all and you're just like, Whoa, what is this? But the curse side of it is that often they can be extremely obnoxious and make you not want to go see it at all. And, um, you know, still consistently, there's been cases like that. I mean, you know, offhandedly, I think I have really no interest whatsoever in seeing, you know, what is supposed to be a relatively big movie, which is uh, Superman versus Batman, uh, based on the trailers alone. And, and also from the track record, I've heard of everybody telling me that uh, uh, Man of Steel was not great and neither was Green Lantern before that. So I'm just not rushing out the door to go see that. And, uh, you know, the trailers certainly, certainly don't help. Um, I will say, though... And I hate to say this, mind you, but I feel that by and large, most uh, animated movie trailers these days are particularly awful. Not not all, not not every single one, but there was definitely in, in recent years it's it's definitely lightened up. But but there was a good there was a good like decade where it felt like most movies for animated movie. I'm sorry, most trailers for animated movies were really really aggravating like they were the they were the biggest kind of um they, they were the biggest generator of comments like this where like oh they put all the best parts of the movie in the trailer like you already saw the whole movie in the trailer itself and that's it or all the best jokes or whatever or you know even worse when they put all of the worst and most annoying parts in the movie to paint it in a bad light uh and make people not want to see it at all even though it, you know it, it might be a halfway decent flick um and then, you know, sometimes that can completely just tarnish the viewing experience. And, you know, because movies, and especially now where they're, they're so fucking expensive, like, and, you know, with piracy and the people have a lot of really nice looking and sounding, uh, you know, home viewing systems and everything, I feel like it's it's a much bigger deterrent. And so therefore, like, I, I find myself only really going to the movies these days, like, once in a while, like, maybe, maybe, maybe like four or five times a year, depending um, you know, maybe a little more, a little less, but, uh, and, and sometimes there's cases where it's like, oh, you know, like that, that still looks pretty funny. Like I would go see that, but like, it, it's not something that's grabbed me so much to like, oh yeah, I, I gotta go see that movie. Like, holy crap. Like the SpongeBob, the recent Sponge Out of Water movie, like I heard it was pretty funny. And then watching the original SpongeBob movie again recently on Netflix with, uh, with Mike and Steve, um, you know, that it, it's, it's still funny. It still holds up. So I, I'm sure the new, the newer one was, uh, was totally funny. But the trailer wasn't enough to grab me. Like, it, as a new SpongeBob movie, wasn't enough to get me to go out to the theater. You know, I'm sure I might still see it eventually. But I guess that this is, this is mainly about, like, recent stuff, uh, you know, kind of on, on, in the grand scheme of things. To answer the actual question, though, 
Um, I would say that uh, as far as a movie that like got me really hyped up and, and excited, and then I went to go see it, and it was it was let down. I, it's hard for me to pinpoint an, an, like an exact example, but I feel like the most consistent um, genre of movie that that tricks me in that kind of way uh, are are action movies. Um, you know, not exclusively like superhero ones, although those are quite abund abundant. And uh, you know, almost all of the Marvel movies, even the the weaker ones like Iron Man three or whatever, like they've all still been enjoyable. So I've never felt like, oh man, I really wasted my money going to see that one or whatever. Um, that said, of course, I did not see Thor one or two in theaters. Uh, I might go see Ragnarok in theaters just because like it, they've, Thor has grabbed me enough to uh, to be interested in it. So I'll probably check that out. But uh, either way, yeah, like, I feel like the action movie trailers try to make themselves look way cooler than they actually are, and then, you know, they, they kind of, when you get to the theater, it's just like, oh, this is just, like, all style with no substance, or it's just, like, a really, really dumb movie. Like, I remember Mike was just telling me when he went to go see uh, Man of Steel recently, um, he, he's, he was, he described it as, like, he's, he never had, like, such a, like, angry reaction although I, th I know i think he you know maybe i'm wrong maybe he didn't even see it in theaters he might have just like watched it like after the after the fact or whatever but i remember he just said like it, it, it was it, it's stupidity like made him so frustrated and he had like never felt a, a a negative feeling like that about a movie in a very long time and it's like jeez you know um I, again i haven't seen it so i can't judge i certainly didn't like superman returns but i felt like it i mean he would he described that one as just like more boring and man of steel is just stupid in the case of um or, or i guess i guess the the you know transformers movies are, are great examples i mean i've been smart enough to not go to theaters to see any of the newer ones uh, after the second um i i enjoyed the first one for what it was it was it was all right it was a good time and i i enjoyed watching it like I, this is like back in college i think i went to go see that one um yeah like maybe like first first year of college i think that might have been the case but either way um yeah it was like all right it was it was it was a fun time i guess but you know second one it was like we we were convinced enough of the first one to want to go see you know the future stories with these characters and everything and the second one was incredibly dumb uh, I did not care enough to go see the third one. I was told by a few people that the fourth one is the best of them all, but I, they've lost me by this point. Um, I did not go to see the Michael Bay uh, Turtles movie. I, I had zero interest in that. Um, I will admit the second one looks more interesting because it's owning the fact that it seems like it's owning the fact that it's, it's ridiculous um, because it's fucking Ninja Turtles for God's sake. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go see that one. I, I'm not rushing out the door. But, you know, it's, it's that. Um, uh, as far as the opposite uh, goes, I would say uh, a lot of DreamWorks movies have, uh, have actually, like, really surprised me. Two in particular, um, How to Train Your Dragon and Kung Fu Panda, the first ones of both of those. Um, the, the second How to Train Your Dragon and the second Kung Fu Panda were both all right. They were entertaining. I went to go see them in theaters because I liked the first one so much. Um, but, uh, I, at first I was, I was just like, I remember complaining about how fucking annoying I, I thought Hiccup was based on the, uh, the original How to Train Your Dragon, uh, trailers. And, you know, I mean, with no offense to Jay Baruchel, like, I think that, I think that the lines they picked, cause he, you know, he did fine in the first movie. Um, second movie, there were a few scenes where I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, you know, I won't say what they are, but in the first one, I actually thought that his performance was totally acceptable, but just, man, they, they picked some really, like, just annoying as shit lines for the, the trailers of the first movie. It, I, I, it's weird because I don't even know what it was that convinced me. You know what? Maybe it was Chris Sanders. I might've learned that, oh, it's the Lilo, it's the Lilo and Stitch director. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he makes great stuff and you know, I like what he does. So I'll, I'll go check that out. Um, and I wanted to go see that movie, I think, at least two times in theaters, so I, I liked it that much. Um, and that, you know, that really says something. Kung Fu Panda um, was not, like, incredible, but it was, it, was, it was a fun time. You know, I enjoyed it. And I, I, again, I enjoyed it enough to go see the second movie. I might go see the third one. Again, not jumping out of my seat. Uh, oh, you know what? One, I, I didn't even write this down for my little notes that I have, a little cheat sheet in front of me, but... Um, one that really surprised me, and I, I think I might have talked about this in a, another career blog before, but Tangled. Um, I okay, so I I was like, I was disappointed because that movie I was told was originally going to be animated in 3D, and then it, they were going to draw over it and make it look like it was a 2D movie, which sounded really cool to me, and I was super interested in it uh, for that purpose at first. This is of course back when it was still being called Rapunzel. 
Um, but I, then after the style changed and I was seeing some of the other trailers, I was like, all right, it seems like fun, but I'm not like what I'm, I'm not like jumping out of my seat. As I keep saying, I'm not like, Oh, I gotta go see that. But uh, I remember I think in, in like that part way through my, my last year of college, um, a bunch of my friends were like, Oh, we're going to go see it. You feel like it? I'm like, eh, yeah, why the hell not? All right. So I think I had just kind of like eh, expectations of that one. And like, I fucking loved that movie like it, it, it inspired me like very unexpectedly like it, it kind of made me like for the first time really start thinking about uh doing movies uh as opposed to doing uh, tv series and, and and games and things which were all i were ever, ever thinking about in terms of like my storytelling content um but uh, tangled I, I think you know it's not that, that the trailers made me have like really shitty ex expectations of it but it just very pleasantly surprised me um i will say <laughs> I think that in the last several years, um, the, the trailers that, uh, that that have come out um, for the movies that I've been interested in have been much more indicative of how good or bad the movie is. Um, you know, there are still, I mean, for one thing, even past the fact that animated movies in general would often, you know, used to have a lot of really shitty trailers. There are also just in general a lot of really shitty animated movies. And likewise, there are a lot of really shitty live action movies that, you know, somehow make their money back stuff like pixels, you know, I, I really couldn't tell you what the fuck the deal is with that. But that's that's Hollywood for you, I guess. Uh, but either way, yeah. Um, I, but that's the thing. It's like when I see the, the trailer for Pixels, I'm just like, this is going to be fucking stupid. I have no interest in seeing that. So it's much easier for me to determine, like, what am I going to be spending my money on to go see? What am I going to go plan to see with my with my friends and everything? You know, like already, like, for instance, Zootopia. Like, the most recent trailer was, like, kind of showing a little bit too much, like, more than I would have wanted. But the, the couple trailers, like, the, the sloth one, with, with, which was hilarious, and, like, the one before that, I think, uh, with, like, just the, the blank area with the animals crossing by. Like, that, that, that stuff enough has been, like, I, I'm going to go see that, like, opening night, like, I, with, with a bunch of my animator friends who would probably more so appreciate it, I think, just for the, the uniqueness of it. Um, Star Wars, I was not left out about as well, at all. I think I might talk about uh, Star Wars next week. I, I, somebody asked me about um, Force Awakens, and uh, I've, so I'll probably do that for this weekend's uh, Curlot topic. But that aside, um, and this is coming from somebody who's not even that big of a Star Wars fan, like inherently, I was really excited for Seven, and I was completely not, I don't want to say blown away, but I, I really, really, really enjoyed going to see that, and uh, I was happy that I went to go see it with a bunch of friends that were big fans of it as well. Um, it was cool. And, and so, so, and they were like, uh, what is it like inside out lived up completely to, to my expectations. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff like that. Um, so it's been nice, uh, civil war. I have major high hopes for as well. And, um, you know, I, I, Ooh, you know, I know a lot of people are saying there could be many things that could be done wrong or they could, they could go wrong with that one. I, I have very high hopes. The trailers so far, I, I think, I think the, the trailer that has come out by the time that this one comes out. Um, that this curb law goes up, that is, it, it's super fucking cool. And just the, the idea of that one alone, just the concept of civil war, uh, based on what little I know about the comic, I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm all about that. Plus I love cap. I mean, you know, I love, uh, and plus the Chris, the Chris Evans, uh, interpretation of him, you know, which, you know, based on theories I've been seeing floating around may or may not be the final movie of his. Uh, oh, X-Men Apocalypse as well. You know, I, but at this point I'm just kind of talking about movies like what movies am I seeing in 2016, I guess. Uh, so the answer is Zootopia, Civil War, and X-Men Apocalypse, the end. Um, might go see Moana as well, hopefully, if that one turns out to be good. And have, I, don't, I don't have any expectation of that one. So maybe it'll be another Tangled case where it's like, whoa, this is really good. Who knows? But uh, I haven't even seen the trailer of that. I think the one just came out today for that one. I'm not even sure, but either way. Yeah, um, so I hope I even answered the question at this point. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'll say this too, I guess, because I didn't even really mention this before. Tr trailers, like are such a cool stylized, like kind of like there's something so viscerally like, whoa, about watching them. Like when you're just like a, a consumer. Cause I mean, when I was doing Tome, like making trailers for like new episodes coming out or even like the new season or whatever, like, or any kind of stuff like that, that was always fun. I remember, I think even way back in the day when I was doing TV Tome adventures, I had some trailers for when I did the, the TTA movie, which was awful, but making the trailers for that and having them be all like weird and stylized and everything was was a lot of fun just because again, like just the initial reaction, even I would, I would get the same reaction from watching them myself too. It's just like, Oh, that's so cool. Oh man. I'm so excited for like when this comes out, like that, it, it just still like invokes that kind of feeling, you know?
So that's why I'm really happy that uh, it, it's 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 possible to be excited by movie trailers again without it being like, even though sometimes again they they can sour the viewing experience or but but I think now what what's nice is that there's checks and balances more and like kind of something more obvious to show. Okay, I am not interested in seeing this. I'm not going to waste my time or my money on this because it's just it's not for me. You know, and it's funny because all the movies that I just mentioned that I that I was uh, very happy with, I've heard plenty of criticism about. Like people who went to go see them based on like, oh, I, the trailer made me hyped up, and I'm I'm gonna go see it, or or otherwise, and they're just like, eh, that that didn't live up to my expectations, or I just didn't get the you know as many positive feelings out of that experience as I was hoping for, or that everybody was making me excited about. You know, and even just like getting hyped up. I think I've I've done a whole topic about that by this point too, and that's that's a whole other subject in and of itself, but. Um, yeah, they're exciting. I'm glad to be excited by them again, you know, for the first time, for what feels like consistently for the first time in a while, especially with animated movies. It's it's just nice. So plenty to look forward to this year in terms of movies. And, uh, you know, a lot of them aren't uh, too far away either. So, you know, now for me, it's just, it's funny because as I'm doing this, I've, I've been in such a state of like, God, I really, 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 really want to do a movie and I'm going to. It's not going to be for a while because I know I'm not good enough or ready to do it yet. But, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm reminded. And then, and then even just having a cool trailer is just a nice little bonus of just like seeing people's reaction to, Oh man, I'm excited. And Oh man, I'm, I'm interested in going to see this and, you know, hopefully be blown away by it. Hopefully in theory, we'll say anyway, that's going to do it. So uh, in the comments below, tell me, uh, what are your thoughts on trailers lately? What, what do you have any fond memories of any particular movie trailers that really, really like hyped you up or that really made you excited and, you know, completely lived up to your expectations or maybe let you down or, you know, something you saw that was uh, that had that kind of a shitty trailer that and then surprised you with how good it was when you went to go see it after all. Uh, let me know. And if you have ideas for future Curb Lot topics, uh, even though I mentioned I was going to do a Star Wars one this this weekend, I'm still collecting a lot of more uh, a lot more topics for new stuff now that I'm just like, you know, going back into the, the well of ideas again. And uh, I've got plenty of other ones uh, that I'm sitting on, uh, most of which are what are your thoughts on this movie or show or game or whatever uh, you know, I'm trying to not do too many of those because I feel like they get a little too obnoxious. But either way, what I'm saying is I want your ideas. I want to give back to you. That is what I care about. About. Goodbye. I love you all. Thank you.